Hey guys, um, welcome back. I just wanted to do a really quick video. Stop, I'm lying, it's not quick. To first show you guys the new color palette for my family room area. And then also kind of just give you a little sneak peek into shopping here in Medida, Mexico. Take you along for a little bit of my shopping trips. Um, and then show you also the new piece that has been introduced to the house. Hold up. Now, obviously you're gonna see some things that you saw in Dream because some things are very personal to me. So like for instance, these lamps, they're still part of the collection and it's so crazy. Um, real quick story, I actually have two sets of these now. Um, not my fault, one set was actually supposed to be a giveaway for you guys. I had asked you months and months ago to tell me how to do this giveaway no one chimed in like no one chimed in on how to do the giveaway and so it just never happened and then the other set of lamps just like these the ones that I got from the pawn shop if you missed that video I will link it above and you can check that video out like how I got these lamps anyway um, like I said no one chimed in on the giveaway as I was packing, I had both set of lamps in my storage unit. So if you don't recall when I was here in Mexico, that's when the mover contacted me and said, um, I am going to be in Vegas. Is your stuff ready? And I was like, wait, what? So I have most of my things ready for the most part. And shout out to my nephew, Damo, who actually went and to my storage unit, took some more things that was at Juan's house and dropped them off for me. But what the movers didn't realize is that that other box of lamps was not supposed to come to Mexico. So because it's so expensive to ship things back and forth and then you gotta deal with customs, um, I am now the proud owner of two sets of these lamps. So one of them, I'm actually going to do something different to it. I'm going to change it around so that it has a completely different look. I can't wait to do that. I'm going to share it with you guys. It's going to be a project that I'm going to do. So a little DIY design project coming up for you guys with these uh, lamps. Okay. So don't come for me like it's the same. It is not the same. It will not be the same but you will see some of the same things. You will see that beautiful portrait, Eden, of my daughter, because one, I love my daughter, <laughs> and two, it is a portrait that I shot, edited, and it was in my gallery, and I absolutely love this canvas, and it wasn't cheap. So I'm glad it made it here, and it made it safely. Um, each room is going to have a different look, uh, and when I start working on my bedroom, which will probably be the last because I'm pretty sure it's going to be the most expensive, um, then we'll do that. But right now, I have started on my living room. Uh, I don't want to call it dining because I don't think I'm going to actually have a dining room area. It's all one big great room. Um, and I have the island with the stools. I bought some new stools, guys, so you see that. And I also uh, bought a new piece of furniture that I got from Facebook Marketplace, and it was a steal, okay? This piece, when you see it, I don't know if it's gonna convey via video, but it is three inches shy of eight feet long, and I love it. When I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I have to have this. I started messaging the girl, and then she told me she had somebody coming to pick it up. And I was like, oh no, it was so sad. So I messaged her the next morning, first thing, hey, did they come and get it? Because I know sometimes people don't actually show up. I sell enough things to know that sometimes people will say things and they're just kicking tires. So lo and behold, they did not show up. So I was like, okay, it's mine. I'm coming to get it. I don't have a car here, guys. I had a rental for like the first week and a half, but I have had two drivers. One is like a driver, um, and the other one is a driver slash concierge. So, um, big shout out to Luis. Say 
had another day today with um, Luis, my driver. Say hi, Luis. Hello. <laughs> and we went hanging out, running around. We picked up a piece of furniture and a really nice piece of furniture from my living room. We went to Home Depot. Now we're grabbing an Impossible Burger for me because I'm hungry. And then we're going to Chidrawi so I can get some groceries. But yeah, pretty good day. It took a minute because sometimes you gotta actually sit in a space before you know what you wanna do. So I had to do that. And then I had to find the pieces that were going to be my pop-offs for me. I have my favorites when it comes to like color palettes. I love greens, I love blues, like that cobalt royal punchy. Um, I also love neutrals. I am a big fan of black and white and just woods and all of that natural. I think for this house, I'm going with more of a Japanese modern. So that Japan D style. And then the guest room is going to be fire. Like I already ordered the headboard. I cannot wait for that room because it is, it's going to be a whole mood. Like it's going to be totally separate from this whole entire house. Everything else is going to be very modern, natural woods, natural colors. Uh, the palette is going to be in those greens and blues, whites, beige, tans, and grays, and little pops of color. understand that the walls still need to be painted floor coverings need to come in there's a lot of furniture I'm not even using a mic because there's so much echo in here right now um, but once I start getting the furniture in here then you'll see okay pause I had to jump in here real quick because I'm in my office editing the video yes I'm in my office I'm bragging a little bit but I don't even have a desk. Um, I'm gonna be looking for a desk this weekend. But anyway, I had to jump in here because it looks like I'm thirsty. So I got news for y'all. This right here that you see in the video, I'm not thirsty, I'm not dehydrated. I promise you, I am drinking my water. Um, that was a new lip gloss that I was trying and I usually wear matte, but I was trying something glossy and so yeah, it's going in the trash because I don't like the way it like kept sticking to my lips and making me look like I was thirsty. So yeah, just so y'all know, like I'm good. All right, okay, back to the video. And then Sophia, who built the mirror for my bedroom, if you haven't seen that, it was in like a, a little short. I did a short on the mirror that Sophia built for me. She is an amazing artist and she's going to be building a huge mirror for me in my entry area so i can't wait for that obviously she has all the tools and everything to make it come together she has a glacier here who she gets her mirror from i don't have any of these resources so i have to kind of let some people do certain things while i do other things and sophia's going to build the mirror for me leave it natural and then i'm going to do the rest so that's going to be another project and another video some more content on design and diy for you guys so don't Get it twisted. Just because I moved to Mexico does not mean I am abandoning my DIY, that I'm abandoning my design. That couldn't be further from the truth. 
this is actually better for me because I can think, I can have an actual office, I can lay things out and really not be interrupted. Like it's really quiet here, except for when, you know, maybe the kids come out to play in the evening and that is perfectly fine with me. I love the laughter. I would rather have these kids here with something to do, running around laughing, playing, than those little rotten ass kids in, um, I want to say all of Las Vegas, but them rotten ass kids that, you know, lived where I lived and like to come and vandalize people's homes. That is not an issue here. I really should get back to work, but when you can take a break from your office, which is right there, and then come out and take a dip in the pool, come on, wouldn't you do it too? Speaking of my office, I'm going to be going to a place tomorrow with one of my drivers, Luis, and he knows what kind of desk I want, and so he's taking me to a town, it's about two hours away, so that I can possibly find the top that I need for my desk. I'm not sure if I'm going to find the base, I may or may not, but I definitely know what kind of top I want, and so Luis said he thinks that we will get lucky. Wait till you see the front. That bad boy is nice. Good job, Luis. Good Luis job. came through. And he didn't think that we were going to be able to get it for the price that we got it for. Absolutely not. You not have to. You have to. You got to trust the hustle. Look, you can take the girl out of Brooklyn, but you can't take the Brooklyn out of the girl. I got hustle. Hustle gang. Hustle gang. Uno sale del barrio, pero el barrio no sale de uno. That's how we say it. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> I have so much content, so much. It's just that I need the time to sit down, edit, and do all of this stuff, which is why my office is the most important place in this entire house. I also have some brands that I want to work with that, that have been hitting me up and want to work with me. But of course, I need to have the time to actually commit to all of that. Big shout out to my branding coach. If you are on YouTube and you wanna work with brands and you want to learn more about how to do things the right way, hit up my girl Nina at Sidewalker Daily. Seriously, I love her. Okay, one of the things that we do here more than we did in the US is we shop on Facebook Marketplace a lot. There are a lot of local artisans and they have their shops. Most of them are, you know, could be in their backyard or part of their garage or whatever, but they are building and um, they don't have like commercial addresses. That's not for every single one of them, but some of them, that's the way that it is and I actually like supporting those businesses. There are also beautiful, beautiful shops here where you can actually buy a lot of different things. And um, one of the places where I got my new pillows from is a store called Gaia, and I got that tip from Bad Luck Kitty. If you don't know her, she actually has a YouTube channel and she lives here in Merida. So thanks, Kitty, for that tip. Uh, and then there are just their malls. There are places like Liverpool, um, which reminds me of Macy's or Nordstrom's. Um, you know, so yeah, there's a lot of different places. So I'm gonna just show you a little bit of my shopping around to find things for the house. So it's gonna vary a little bit. And then So here is more of like a local place and you kind of got to know somebody to find these places. So this is like the workshop.
it's like the carpenter is a, it's a light. Oh wow, that's awesome. So the carpenter is a female. Y'all know I really love that. And this is her showroom. It's called Roots. But this is right up my alley. Look at this. This is amazing. I love it, Diego. When I came from the peninsula of Yucatan, and instead of cutting out trees, we recollect them once they fall down. Okay. And if then, instead of them wasting in the floor, we collect them and make furniture with them. Perfect. sofas whatever and they will make it to order and then I pick out my fabric and all of that stuff obviously so yeah there's like everything nightstands dining tables sofas you name it like everything and yeah you can make it yourself like look at this cute little headboard right there Look at this amazing headboard right here. I'm gonna put my water down because, yeah. So look at this big king size, that is gorgeous. And I love this headboard. And here we go to the sofas. Let's try them out. Yeah. All right, so we, I look at hot mess, so. Um, it's hot in Merida, but we're heading into another one of these little hole-in-the-wall furniture stores. Anyway, so yeah, this is where we're going. Hopefully you can see that. We're going to head inside and hopefully find some furniture. a lot of Facebook marketplace it's a lot of locals building and selling things and they have shops but most of them advertise on Facebook marketplace and that's how you find them uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what you can get here and you know what it costs and please for those of you who don't know what a peso is <laughs> It's Mexican dollars. So if you see something and it says 16,000 and it looks like dollars, it's 16,000 pesos. So do the conversion rate based off of today's conversion numbers because it can vary. Um, the peso used to be, you know, 25 to one. And now it's like 17 the last I checked. So, you know, the dollar is losing value when it comes to how strong it used to be at times. But right now there's just so much going on, inflation. But you know what? I'm gonna stop trying to school people. I just want y'all to understand. You cannot buy a house in Mexico for $1,000. You can uh, maybe rent a house in Merida, Mexico for $1,000. Yeah, you, you certainly can. Um, I do not because I know me. My bitch is bad and bullshit. I wanted to be in a privada. I love the fact that I have all of these amenities and all of that stuff. So just so you know, yes, you can rent something for a thousand dollars. You cannot buy something for a thousand dollars. Not in this city. Not in this state of the Yucatan. So I don't think so. Um, yeah. Mm. 
All right, guys, I hope you like that little sneak peek into shopping and buying things and color palette in Merida, Mexico, okay? So hopefully, I will see you guys in the next video, and yeah. Also, be on the lookout for my invite for my live, because I will be doing a live housewarming. I'm not really sure how to go about that, simply because, uh, yeah, it's hard for you guys to buy me things and send them to me. So, if I can link my Amazon Mexico account and have you guys do that, great. But I'll be completely honest with you, there aren't a lot of little things that I need. I am in need of actual furniture because all of the little things that I wanted and needed are actually here with me. I packed them up and brought them. In here, I do have more than one bathroom, whereas in um, Dream, I only have one bathroom. So yes, I do need things like towels and wash rags and, you know, um, toilet tissue holder and whatever. So. If I can link my Amazon, then I'll go ahead and do that. If not, I'll be honest, I'm probably gonna order a lot of these things from either Amazon or Timu and get them shipped here because I know that they will find me. Um, and then I'll have you guys just donate like little gifts or whatever gift cards to my coffee account and my Cash App account because I know so many of you want to help out and this has been extremely extremely expensive like my account took a huge hit moving my daughter first and then moving myself and if you want to i'll do a breakdown of that so let me know if you want to see a breakdown of the cost of you know all this moving stuff and i'll go ahead and gather up all of my receipts and and then i can do a breakdown for you guys but in the meantime all right I'm going, I'm rambling, I love you, bye!